Honorable Chairman, thank you for giving me an opportunity to participate in the debate on the Constitution, Stool Tribes Order, Fourth Amendment Bill 2022. Sir, there can be no disagreement with the proposition that wherever government finds a community to be similarly circumstances as a Stool Tribe community, to enlist that community in the category of Stool Tribe. But that would remain an idle formality unless there is an attitudinal shift, there is a shift in the approach. And that shift in the approach is not visible. These, these, all these exercises reduce to a cosmetic exercise. I mean, these additions are made for political reasons without intending any benefit for the communities that are proposed to be enlisted, proposed to be listed, added to the list of children tribes. Sir, the change in the, the shift in the approach is not visible. What has been recently done is that there has been a, the amount, the allocations for pre-matric scholarship have been, have been slashed down. The scholarships that were meant for the weaker sections, unattended sections. And what about, the Nash, what about the Maulana Azar National Scholarship, which enabled a large number of students to have access to the higher education? So had government been see, honest about the effort to come to the rescue of these unattended segments of society, it would not have embarked on such an exercise where, where it reduced the number of scholarships and slashed down the amount. Sir, the fact remains that the school tribes continue to have no access to health care, have no access to education, and no, have no access to the means of employment. So in case of Juman Kashmir, we have a good, good population of ST population. And what we see is that only an addition has been made in name. The population continues to have no access to the education. The most of the dropout school dropouts are from that community, and most of the shadow areas, surprisingly the shadow areas where we don't have connectivity at all, not even telephone connectivity, not net connectivity, are from the area, are the areas where, which are inhabited by the school tribe. Resultantly, what happens, the school, the ST community children do not have access to the digital education, have not access to the online education and a large number of students are deprived of the concession that is availed of in urban areas in other segments of the population. And, and so the resultantly, the, most of the dropouts are from this community, out of schools, students are from this community and come to the health care. Sir, we have least health care facilities available to this community no access to the health care. So what is the point in making additions when you don't intend to do, ameliorate their lot or do make any significant changes in their lifestyle? In the access, in the, in the access. So, so it will, no, just one, it will remain, just see, the, these, these communities continue to be at the bottom, bottom of the barrel. And these, the, the experience tells us that these remain only cosmetics. My, I would urge, I would request the Honorable Minister to do something to, in real terms, ameliorate a lot of this community. Ed, make the, make the additions. We don't, we don't, oppo is, we don't oppose as it. As we have large number of members just to one speak. Minute. Just one minute. As one we minute. have. One sorry. minute, one minute, just, just one. Half a minute. Half, half a minute. We, we don't oppose the additions. Let the communities be enlisted if you have on an objective. You have raised a very but, valid point. But make it meaningful, the exercise yes. meaningful. You what have raised a very valid point. When yes, you don't intend to do anything good for the community. My only request to all members yes. is, henceforth, who are going to speak, speak, confine your speech to three to four minutes. Uh, thank you, you very much, sir. We have to ultimately 